Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a math tutor from London, and today I'm going to teach you some basic mathematical concepts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a scientific calculator. Okay, so there are some basic functions of a scientific calculator. First of all, it works just like any ordinary calculator with a few more bits and bobs. So with the calculator, the basic functions appear here, written in white, and just like on any other calculator, you would have two times four equals eight, and you get the answer eight. That's just like a standard calculator. Now with the scientific calculator, there are some other functions that are accessed by clicking the, the shift button, and, you, and these functions are the ones written in yellow. They may be written in another color, but the shift itself is a standard with all scientific calculators, and it accesses the other functions. So for instance, if I wanted to work out the cube root of 27, I would put this, the cube root of 27. And the answer is three. So to access those functions, you can see here, I clicked three for the cube root, and I clicked the shift button. I clicked on the button which accesses the cube root, and then I put in what I wanted, which was 27. I closed the bracket, and I clicked equals, and it gave me the answer three. So that's just a, a quick rundown of some of the ones you can use with the yellow. Anything in yellow you access by clicking shift. Now there are some ones written in red as well, which are accessed by clicking on the alpha button. And you, you see alpha C, and I get the C. So you can use the, these functions for storing memory and the likes. But the main function comes from using shift. And I'd just like to show you a couple of functions that are really quite useful. If you wanted to take a number and square it, you would take, say, 5 squared equals 25. And another really, really useful function of these scientific calculators, which you can use over and over again, is the answer button. This is probably the most useful part of the calculator. Let's say I was doing a sum and it was written on paper, and it was 2 times 3, which is obviously 6. Now, I want then the rest of the sum was 6 divided by 4. I can click answer, divide by four, and it remembers the six, and it divides it by four, and it gives you the answer, which is 1.5. So the answer button is like a temporary storage, and you can use it in there. So if I was to do something a bit more complicated, like 25 squared plus two, all divided by 36, I would do 25 squared plus two equals that, then answer divided by 36 will give you 17.41, which is the answer. And that's how you use scientific calculator.